never been by a girl like this. assurance of this race of puny bipeds with overblown egos. The creature who calls himself man. He believes he owns the earth and every living thing on it exists only for his benefit. Yet how foolish he is. Consider, even the lowly insect that man trods underfoot outweighs humanity several times and outnumbers him by countless billions. In the continuing war for survival between man and the hexapods, only an utter fool would bet against the insect. Let a man or woman venture from the well-beaten path of civilization, let him cross the threshold of the limited intellect, and he encounters amazing, wondrous things, the unknown and terrible. If he escapes these weird adventures with his life, he will usually find he left his reason behind him. Perhaps that is what happened to these two souls, lost in a great Mexican desert. But then, ask yourself, why would anyone trod from the usually well-traveled roads of this modern age, from the luxury of an air-conditioned automobile? It's difficult for our modern world of statistics and electronics to accept miracles. But you could almost call this a miracle, a genuine miracle. Out of hundreds and thousands of square miles of heat and seared wasteland, where the vultures wait for the other vultures to die, an American oil surveyor has chosen to explore this particular terrible corner of the earth. The Muerto Desert. The Desert of Death. This surveyor can hardly credit his eyes. Perhaps they're only elusive images produced by roasting the optic nerves. But if they do exist, if they are living things from somewhere, one fact is certain. Miracle or not, they will not be living things for long. The Muerto Desert, true to its name, will soon convert them into dead things. coming out of it then. I doubt it, Doc. Even if they got across that desert alive, the sun's bound to have cooked their brains. It's a miracle to me how Peppy and Frank found them. No, I better be getting back to work. Beats me how they got there, or what they were doing. That's the most godforsaken spot on Earth. Maybe they're from that missing plane we read about. That plane was headed for Mexico.